Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Today I'm in a different place. I'm at my dad's house and we're gonna cook several different things, but I'm gonna start out with the two pork tenderloins and I'm gonna go ahead and marinate them and I'm gonna use this honey bourbon by Lowry's. Dump pretty much the whole bottle on top of it. Move that around, make sure everything gets coated up real good. And then I'm, I'm gonna cover this up, put it in the fridge and let it rest for probably a couple hours. I'm gonna cook these little chicken balls. They're gonna be beef balls with a little bit of uh, chicken surprise in them. I'm gonna crack one egg. Just gonna beat that up real good. Now I'm gonna add in one pound of ground chicken and this is dark meat. Add in is this uh, Weber garlic jalapeno seasoning. Add a good amount of that in there. Maybe a couple tablespoons of it. Mozzarella and provolone cheese shred it. I'm just gonna add in one good handful of that in there. And we're definitely gonna need a binder, so I just crushed up this bag of uh, crispy fried onions. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be mighty fine, y'all. Let's throw about half the bag of that in there and get it mixed up. Just go ahead and dump the whole bag in there. And that is a three ounce bag. I'm just gonna have to get my hand in there and just mix this up really, really well. Make sure we get everything incorporated good. It does help to wet your hands. It'll keep them from sticking on your hands so bad. So it's a lot easier to form them. Now I'm gonna put these in the fridge just so that way they can stiffen up, harden up a little bit for about 30 minutes. Now the next ingredient for our meatballs is about one and a half pounds of ground beef. Take the ground beef on a good sized piece of aluminum foil and I'm gonna fold it over. And if you ain't got a rolling pin, you could also use a can. That might help out a little bit just to roll it out, make it a little easier than pressing it. Just like that. This is what we got. Can worked out a lot better than pressing it, you can see. Got a nice sheet of beef. This might look a little weird. This is something new to me that just popped in my head and I'm trying, so let's give it a try. I'm gonna take the chicken meatballs with the jalapeno seasoning, lay them down right here just like that. Lay a little more down here. One here, one here. This gonna make me a Cut basically right down the middle of the whole thing there. Make one here. These are probably gonna end up being some pretty big meatballs. I'm just gonna pick this beef up just like this and wrap it right around the chicken. And don't worry because we're gonna be putting some bacon on it too. So these are gonna be extra, extra mighty fine. All right, a big old beef meatball with chicken and cheese stuffed in it. Look at that. Before we wrap these in bacon, I'm gonna season them with a little bit of this amazing Mexican Cajun by Heaven Made Products. Just gonna get them seasoned real good. Just gonna get them seasoned real good up here. I'll spin them over and do the same thing on the other side. Seasoned up and these turned out a lot bigger than what I expected and I had still got three chicken meatballs left But we'll probably just wrap a piece of bacon around them and cook them up by themselves see how they turn out Probably gonna be a little longer video than usual Just trying something new. This is the first time I've ever filmed a video at my father's house. So we'll see how it goes But either way, it's gonna be mighty fine y'all our tenderloins have been marinating for about two hours and I flipped them one time. Now I just got a piece of foil here. I'm gonna lay each tenderloin on it, get it out of the juice. I'm just gonna pat uh, a little bit of that excess marinade off of these. A little bit. 
Now I'm just going to season it with the Poto Original Barbecue Rub. Just going to sprinkle a nice coating on each side. I got one side seasoned good. Now I'm just going to liberally season the other side too. Now that I got both now that I got both sides seasoned up real good, I'm just going to lightly cover it in this foil and just let them hang out in the fridge for just probably another 30 minutes or so until I get the grill ready. Now we're going to take some bacon and wrap it around our little meatball things that we made. Get a good old slice of bacon. Put it on there. Probably take two slices of bacon. We're going to wrap it like that. Once you get to that point, wrap it like that. And then, right there. And just wrap it like that. Can you all see? Nice. Now I'm going to do them all just like that. Weird meatballs, uh, all wrapped in bacon, and I'm gonna hit them just, just a touch more with the amazing Cajun. Just a light dosing over them. Now, it is time to get our meat on the grill. Them beautiful pork tenderloins, if you can see them. Sit these bad boys right here. Sit these bad boys right there. Oh yeah. Now check them meatballs out. Just gonna lay these meatballs just all around everywhere here. Just like that. Meatballs and the tenderloins. And uh, my grill is running right now at about 225 degrees. And right there I have a beautiful piece of uh, mesquite wood. I love mesquite wood. Now I'm going to put the lid on it and just let it ride. We're going to make uh, some very easy baked beans. And we're starting out with about three quarters of a pound of ground chuck. Now remember I'm in a different house so we're using uh, this pepper right here. It's table pepper. Put a little bit of that on there. Got to work with what we got, y'all. And I got some Jane's uh, crazy mixed up salt. Put a little of that in there. And uh, I'm just going to start getting that browned up. Before our beans is getting brown, I'm going to go ahead and add in a little bit of onion. And I added about a half of an onion to it. Also, I added about a half of a red bell pepper. Check out my knife I'm using. Uh, part of working in a different kitchen. Now, I'm just going to let this cook until the meat is fully browned and the vegetables soften up a little bit. Now, for these baked beans that I'm uh, preparing, I'm using the Bush's Grilling Beans Steakhouse Recipe. Two pans, and I'm going to get them emptied into this. Just going to dump both cans of the grilling beans in the pan. Then we're going to take our hamburgers, onions, and peppers. Throw it right in there with them beans there. Oh man, this is going to be mighty fine. These beans are so simple, but dang, they're so good. Yeah, that's going to be baked beans. Now the only thing we're going to do... <clears throat> Now the only thing we're doing to these beans, we're keeping them pretty simple. We're gonna add just a little bit of rub in it, maybe about a tablespoon. Sprinkle it over like that, maybe two. It don't matter. Gonna be good anyways. Then we're gonna use my go-to barbecue sauce, the Sticky Fingers Carolina Sweet. We're gonna pour about half of the bottle in there. Just like that. Then I just like to mix them up. Just make sure you mix them up real, real good. And I guarantee you this is going to be some of the best baked beans you ever ate. I just like them. 
Well, the old Weber's been running for about 30 minutes or so with the meat on it, and I'm gonna, uh... Woo! It's getting windy out here. I'm gonna throw these baked beans on here tight in the foil. I'll throw them right there. Most of my fire's right here, so it should be all right in about 30 minutes or so. I'll probably come and, come and rotate them a little bit. But I'm gonna get the lid back on it. And just let it roll. They were rolling about 260 degrees right now. I just like to take a piece of aluminum foil and cover them tightly. That's the way that I like to cook my beans on the grill when they're cooking. I just think they turn out better that way. I don't like them over, over smoked. Let's give her a check. Move these beans for a second here. Uh, so I put the leftover marinade that we had marinating the pork into this pot. I'm gonna reduce it by half and just make a nice glaze out of it and that's what it was. The sauce has reduced and thickened and man it sure does taste mighty fine too I tell you. And that's what we're gonna use to glaze the pork tenderloins when they're about done. I'll throw a piece of this mesquite on here. And uh, I don't know. I really like mesquite for pork. I mean, I just love it. And plus, we got beef there too. So, close that up. Then I'm going to put the beans on the opposite direction that they was. I feel like I'm going to take and dust uh, some of the pork tenderloin with a little bit of the poto rub. Just a little bit more. That ought to be good. Cover that bad boy up. Oh yeah. First cook out of 2019, January of 25th. My oh, son is making a video. Um, whatever he's cooking looks great. All right, right here's our uh, sauce. We're gonna go ahead and baste the pork tenderloins. I ain't got a brush, so I'm using a napkin. Get a nice base on them. Got them basted up pretty good. Give them a flip and base the other side. Use these tongs. Our pork is at about 130 degrees right now, so let it go for a little while longer and then we'll give them a good sear. I'm gonna go ahead and sit these beans right back here. No, you're good. All right, I'm gonna pull these beans off right here. Probe back in the pork. These beans been cooking for probably about an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a stir and see what they're looking like. Woo! Boiling away, I tell you. And they are looking, looking mighty fine. Nice looking beans right there. I don't like super, super thick beans. This right here is just a perfect consistency. Now I'm probably going to go ahead and pull these beans off because they're done. Pull them off my burr hands. Oh, that's hot. Woo! Old lid back on. Let's do one of them overviews of what we're looking like. There's the meatballs with the chicken stuffed in it, and then right there is just three meatballs with bacon wrapped around it. Man, it's looking mighty fine. And I'm gonna sear them uh, tenderloins right here in a second. This right here is my dad's house in Watauga, Tennessee. Right there is my porch studio. Guess I better get the lid on that, huh? 
just trying different videos out, cooking different things. So, usually I only cook one thing at a time, so we're here to try something new. We hope y'all like, hope y'all enjoy, hope y'all subscribe. These meatballs here, they're about done. I'm gonna give them a flip. Just give them a good flip over. Flip all the big old meatballs. The can. Hard working at your, hard working when you're not at your house and you're using other people's stuff, so not really used to it. Now, time to get a good sear on that shit. Now, let's sear these tenderloins. Look at the steam. Put that in there. Priscilla to sear it. Sear them bad boys for about a minute to two minutes on the side just to get a nice good char on them. And uh, I cooked the internal temperature of them before I seared them to about 145 degrees. Do a little flip on my meatballs while I'm at it. I might glaze them with a little sauce too just to give them a little sheen. See what we got? Can we flip it with the tongs? Oh yeah. Pretty nice little sear. Oh yeah, that one is looking good. First barbecue of 2019. Nice sear on them bad boys. Yes sir, and I'm telling you what, it's looking good. Oh right yeah. Fine. All right, I'm gonna pull these over here. Sit these here for a second. I'm gonna pull them tenderloins off. All right, y'all, here it is. Pork tenderloins, the meatballs, baked beans, and some macaroni and cheese. Let's give it a try. Try the tenderloin first. Looks pretty, pretty good. Mm, mm, mm. Here's these nice, simple baked beans. Mmm. And right here's these meatballs. It's got the chicken in it, the beef, bacon. Mmm. All right, guys, that really, really is mighty fine. My favorite is probably just these simple old beans. Alright guys, thanks for watching, cheers, and I'll see y'all next time. Most excellent man, it's the best beans and whatever else I got. <laughs> <It's good. laughs>